Dr. Mark T. Gary connects with learners and patients alike through his innate ability to see each person as a unique and complete individual. As a psychiatrist for some of the most vulnerable and underserved, Dr. Gary shows learners firsthand the importance of empathy in reaching their highest potential as physicians. The assistant professor at the University of South Dakota Sanford School of Medicine also moonlights as a professional DJ, modeling for students the importance of living a full and balanced life. I was a very small kid and I was always picked on because I was little. So I'm gonna take on the role. I wanted to work with kids. I wanna work with kids who are picked on or bullied and you know, need someone to kind of be in their corner. I think patient-centered care is a lot about buying in to what they're doing and allowing them to make the decisions themselves sometimes. I think it's be impossible to not involve the kid in it. The medical students often in my office will be in the front seat talking to the patient and I'll be in the background watching them. And so after we're done, then we'll talk about like, what are some of the things you thought you did well? What are some of the things you thought you could have done better? The students can tell you many different stories about weird, funny things I do that just makes them feel more relaxed. Because these kids, you know, let's be honest, they're coming in with some really, you know, tough lessons they've learned and difficult things they've had. Creativity is the only thing that keeps me going sometimes and being able to find those creative outlets. And, and the students are, they think it's a fun thing. They tease me about it. We have a good time with it. We play music in the office a lot of times. And, um, someday they're going to take me up on probably DJing one of their parties or something like that, but I haven't done it yet. Well, I always said I have to thank the students that nominated me. Being honored by your medical students is like one of the greatest honors you can get. I mean, how can you, how can you get more than that to be loved by your own students? So it was deep and, and it really affects me in many ways. I have to thank my parents because they always taught me humility and helped me to realize that you're not that great. So you, you're just down there like everyone else. We all are humans and we all have to go through life and struggles. And most importantly, I'd like to thank um, my wife, Melody, who is always there for me. I can be a real bear sometimes when I come home from work sometimes, and she's always there listening and is able to hold that space for me in that. So I thank her the dearest.